What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Wood Shop. Today's video is a long time coming. It is the second most asked question on all of my social media. Where did you get that mask? If you're wondering what the first most asked question is, is how did you get so fit, athletic, and handsome? And all I can say is genetics. But the number one most asked question on all of my social media truly is where is that mask? Where'd you get it? How can I get it? Look at all these comments. You think I'm playing? There's a hundred of them. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. So today I'm going to be introducing you to the power cap active from peak safety I will show you how it works I will break down the science for you I will tell you what I think about it because I've been using it for a while now and I will try my best to sway you to start thinking about your health and protecting your lungs with well, something like this all right so for starters let's talk about what comes in the box if you order one of these there's what your box looks like. It's just a box. It has a whole bunch of information on it that's really helpful to you if you're interested in all the statistics on it. But yeah, there's your box. The box that I got comes with one bump cap, one face shield, two TH1P filters that you can find on their website and get replacements for, one battery pack that attaches to the back of the bump cap, one charging station that here in a minute I will show you has an interchangeable plug so that if maybe you're from a different country or you want to plug into something weird and unique, you can exchange plugs for that, and instructions you know, if, if you're a weirdo and read instructions. Another really cool thing included when you buy this respirator is this airflow test unit. And I'm going to show you really quickly how it works. So if you look right inside the top of your mask, you'll see a port where the air comes out. You'll attach this air test unit to that. Turn the machine on. If your filters need to be changed or cleaned up, the air won't come through strong enough to push the little cap up to the green mark. And then you know you got a problem. So there's two ways to remedy this problem. Buy new filters or take the cap off your filter and clean off the pads, brush the dust out, and pray that that does it. I'm going to do all that, test it again, and we'll see. After cleaning it up, I'm hitting green now, but I'd still like it to be a little bit better, so I guess it's time for new filters. The plug is actually really cool. It is a universal plug, and it comes with multiple adapters for multiple plugs. What is really cool about this system is that this battery can detach from the actual cap, meaning you can have two of these batteries, one on the charger, one in the cap. When one dies, you switch it out. You can go to peaksafety.com and batteries are sold separately there, so you can get two of these and always have an extra so you never run out of battery power. Another pretty convenient thing is that the battery pack does not have to come off the mask in order to charge it. So that's pretty neat. 
All right, are you ready for the price tag? Every time I mention, mon mention money, you guys get mad at me, like as if I set the prices. This mask comes in at a little over $500, and I think that the price tag is worth it, but that is 100% up to you to decide. There's no pressure for you to buy a $500 mask. If you think that a $30 mask off of Amazon is good enough for you, maybe you're just a DIYer and you don't spend a whole lot of time in the shop. But if you're an, a wood turner that's working every single day, $600 for a mask that's gonna be with you every day and protect you until you're 70 years old is not a big price, especially when your lathe is most likely $3,000. Maybe your chop saw, 500 bucks. Your table saw, $1,000. $500 is a lot of money, I get it. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not about making things, it's about protecting yourself. And that's more important than making a cutting board or turning a bowl. Let's talk about the recommend. Whoa, my hair is a mess. Let's talk about the recommended uses for this thing. On Peak Safety's website, they recommend this cap for agriculture, animal handling, woodworking, sculpting, automotive bodywork, wood turning, chimney maintenance, you know, Christmas time. Make sure Santa has a place to come on in. Construction, landscaping, food processing, allergy relief, and general respiratory protection. Any environments where assigned protective factors up to 10 are required this mask is recommended for that. Also, any environments that may trigger asthma or hay fever, this mask is recommended for that. The power cap is a positive airflow respirator, which means the battery pushes about 140 to 160 liters of air a minute over your face. So 140 to 160 liters of air is coming through the top of the mask, out the bottom of the mask, giving you clean air all the time. Because of that, this unit is a one size fits all and does not require a tight face seal to protect from contaminants. What that means is if you got a nice juicy beard coming off your face, you don't have to shave it to make this work. All right, so I don't sound pretentious and try to make you think that I'm very intelligent and smart, even though I am. I'm gonna read off their website and tell you exactly what its protective rating is for. Power Cap Active is rated to EN12941 plus A2 TH1P or the equivalent of ANSI ENP3 standard, meaning that it will filter out contaminants down to 0.3 microns. I know there's somebody out there that understands the jargon that's being spewed here, but all of us can understand that it filters out contaminants down to 0.3 microns. That's pretty good. That's actually better than the standard set by the N95 half mask that doctors wear, so it's pretty good. Anyways, it doesn't require a fit test. It's one size fits all. This conforms to your face while this tightens on and helps it to fit snug on your head. On the inside of the actual mask, there's cushioning for your head, for the top of your head, and that will help you to tighten it up and it won't hurt against your scalp. All right, let's put it on. Now, if I was just to sit here and talk with you for five to 10 minutes, actually, apparently five to 10 seconds, you'll see that I got humidity all up on my face and I cannot see. I literally, can't see. I'm gonna write hi mom in there. Check this out. One, two, three, four, done. Four seconds. Clear. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm sure you can hear that. The mask has a motor. You may ask yourself, man, who would pay for that? It's not a hat. It's not a baseball hat. It's not just a protective face shield. It's not just a filter that sits on your nose. It's all of those things and it is well worth the money. So when I was younger, I was diagnosed with migraines. I've had migraines my entire life, blah, 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 blah. Who cares about my sad sob story? Now, because of that, I'm really sensitive to dust. Normal people, when they get dust in their system, they get drowsy, they get groggy. But on a day-to-day -day basis, if I deal with too much sawdust, I will get the worst headache of my life and it's a guarantee. So for me, this was an absolute no brainer. When I use this, if I'm standing inside the shop, when I use this, if I'm planing something, I do not feel the dust at all. I don't know what the success rate of this is. I don't know what the claim is. 99%, 98% dust separation rate, but I don't feel. It. Obviously you're gonna have the aroma in the air and most likely there are dust particles going into my lungs. But when I leave the shop for the day and I go inside, there's no drowsiness, there's no headache, Headaches, there's no sneezing. There's dust all over me and all over my clothes still, but inside of my nose and inside of my lungs, there's none. This thing is amazing.
I'm just assuming some of you would have the question, why do I even need a mask? Why? I've got safety goggles. I've got a neck sleeve or whatever they're called to stop little dust particles from getting in. Maybe those work for you. Maybe that will protect your eyes. Maybe that'll protect your lungs. But it won't protect your lungs enough for long-term health hazards. Wood contains chemicals, even if that wood is not treated for outdoor use or anything like that. All different wood species contain their own particular organic chemicals and all kinds of unnatural things that humans put into them. The less that you can get those things in your lungs, the better. If you are constantly exposed to those things over a long period of time, you are guaranteed to have breathing health hazards as you age. Guaranteed. The masks are necessary. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you learned something about this mask and maybe you're interested in getting it. I'll put links to where you can find the mask in the description down below. Even if you don't get this mask for yourself, I hope that you take the time to figure out what's best for you and your health. Whether that be a small mask that just covers your nose or a bandana. Whatever you decide for yourself, I hope that it's best for you and your health. I know I found something that I think is best for me and I hope you guys go on to do the same for yourself. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. By the end of 2022, we will have 10,000 subscribers on the channel. That is the goal. Help me make it happen, guys. We'll see you in the next one. No, that's not a thumbs up like this. One finger. Two fingers? Okay. You tried. Good job. Give me that. Now give me a high five. Good job, baby.